Okay, deep breath in, everyone sitting with your feet on the ground, or you can have your legs crossed, that's fine. I want you to take your, let me know if my, my voice is breaking, just give me some feedback, I will continue to monitor that, okay? I want you to take your right hand and put it in the middle of your chest. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Take your left hand and put it on your stomach. Inhale. Hold it. And exhale. Inhale again. Really filling in those lungs. And exhale. I want you to go ahead and open your eyes. And we're going to do some breathing exercises for just a minute, okay? You're going to take your, your uh, thumb and you're going to cover your right nostril. And you're going to inhale from your left nostril. You're going to switch hands and cover your left nostril and you're going to exhale from your right nostril so inhale from your left exhale from your right continue doing that for a good minute inhale through your left exhale through the right Inhale through the left. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the left. Exhale through the right. Put your hands down in your lap and just continue breathing normally. Today we're gonna to do a grounding meditation. We're gonna balance our chakras and we're going to open ourselves up to receive some blessings from Creator, okay? So you can sit with your hands, your, your palms up, just resting on your lap. If you wanna do something called Gyan Mudra, it's basically your index finger and your thumb together and you're again, resting on your lap or something where you cup your hands. I'm not sure what this mudra is called. This is my favorite. You cup your hands and you join your thumbs together with your palms facing up. You just rest your hands comfortably in your lap. Deep breath in. Close your eyes if you haven't already. Relax your shoulders. Just comfortably relax. You're sitting straight, but you're relaxed. Focusing on your breath. I want you to bring your attention into the center of your heart, your heart chakra, which is not your physical heart, but it's the center of your chest. So I want you to bring your attention. You're just going to keep your eyes closed and focus on the center of your chest, your heart chakra. And using this imagination of yours, you're going to imagine that your attention is traveling down your body, down your legs, down the soles, out of the soles of your feet. And you're going to imagine that you have roots at the bottom of your feet. And I want you to allow your attention to travel all the way quickly through those roots to the center of the earth. And because you control how fast or slow you go, you're going to be there now. 
Breathe in and breathe out. And as soon as you touch that grounding, beautiful earth energy, visualize it, give it a color, orange, red. Bring it, give it a color that feels comfortable, whatever color you pick. And I want you to bring that powerful grounding earth energy, let it travel up the roots, up to the soles of your feet. It starts to enter your legs, travel up to your knees. And we're gonna do this quickly, so stay with me now. Up your thighs, up to the base of your spine. And here's where we're gonna start to balance our chakras. Okay, so the way you balance your chakras is you absolutely, literally, simply visualize yourself doing so. So at the base of your spine, I want you to imagine that you're seeing a disc of red light spinning. Okay, I want you to make sure that disc is vibrant. It's spinning beautifully. The edges are nice and clean. The color looks beautiful to you. The size of the disc of your red chakra, the grounding root chakra is as big or as small as you need it to be. If it's too small, open it up to where, where it feels comfortable. If it's too big, close it up. And literally, you're just going to imagine yourself doing that. And that's how you balance your own chakras. Anybody can do it. You don't have to be trained. This is your training now. Take a deep breath in. Moving upwards, as soon as you're done, right on top of your root. The root is at the bottom of your spine, which really is at your anal. That's where your root chakra is. Right on top in your pelvic area is orange. The root is very important because it grounds you. It keeps you connected to earth, allows you to be present in your day to day. Moving up, your, your second chakra is orange. So I want you to visualize an orange disc of light vibrantly spinning. And again, make it the size and the disc and the color, color is orange, but the shade that you feel comfortable. It's beautiful to you. Your orange chakra is responsible for your relationships, your emotional connections to those around you. So if your orange chakra is out of balance, sometimes that can show up. Not sometimes, it does show up. Our chakras have a direct correlation to our emotional and physical health. So although they're not actual physical things you can point to, they absolutely are energetic things that make all the difference in how we function in the world, in our life. So once you balance your orange chakra, moving on, take a deep breath in. Hmm. In your belly button is your third chakra, maybe an inch below it you're gonna visualize a beautiful yellow disc of light. And once again, you're going to balance your own self so that it's as big or as small as you want it to be. Make sure it's vibrantly moving, spinning. Your yellow chakra is responsible for your self-esteem, for your sense of self. So if this chakra is, has some damage to it, or if it's too small, literally just by opening it up, it'll start to improve your self-esteem. So visualize it. If you're struggling with self-esteem issues, visualize this chakra beautifully, vibrantly glowing and spinning. And heal all the edges because, again, we've all gone through hurt and pain and criticism in life. So allow yourself to heal all that now. Deep breath in. 
Moving upwards between your chest is your heart chakra. It's a beautiful green disc of light. And your heart chakra is responsible for your coming from a place of love versus fear. I want you to heal the, men, the, the scattered, tattered edges of your heart chakra if you need to. If there are any dark spots or connections or attachments that you feel, and again, you may not see anything or you may see stuff and you're gonna think to yourself, well, I'm just making this up. I'm, I'm being silly. No, you're not because whatever you're visualizing is exactly what you need to see right now. So just trust that you're doing it right because it wouldn't show up. There's a million options of what you could be thinking and visualizing. And the fact that you're visualizing that specific thing is exactly what needs to show up. So just allow yourself to trust what you're seeing right now. Now go ahead and heal your heart chakra. Imagine that in front of you is this beautiful Archangel Raphael, who is the guardian angel of healing, physical and emotional. And I want you to just visualize it, make it up. Imagine he's standing and, you know, floating in front of you. And his way of healing is using emerald green light. So I want you to just visualize that anything dark, heavy, any attachments, simply just gets disconnected from you and gets transformed into white light. And he is beaming a ray of green light into your heart chakra and into your all your entire body, allowing you to physically and emotionally heal right now. Take a deep breath in. Say thank you, Archangel Raphael. Check your heart chakra, make sure it's spinning beautifully, vibrantly. Moving upwards into your throat chakra is a beautiful disc of turquoise light. So I want you to again, make that disc spinning disc as big or as small as you need it to be. If you find that you are someone that speaks their mind a little too much and starts to get into a little trouble by hurting people's feelings, or you, you talk a little too much and you want to just maybe close it up a little bit, close up your heart chakra just a little bit. Don't close it completely. Sometimes just turning it a couple of notches and bringing it in allows you to maybe not be so vocal. But some of us, we need to open up our heart to be able to, not our heart, our throat chakra to be able to speak our truth. And if that's you, then go ahead and allow yourself to open up your heart chakra as big as you need it to be, as long as it's vibrant and spinning beautifully. This heart, this, this throat chakra allows you to speak your own truth without any fear. Take a deep breath in. Rising up into your, the center of your forehead is your third eye. You're going to visualize a beautiful disc of royal blue or sapphire light spinning vibrantly your third eye is extremely important because that's where god talks to you that's where your spirit guides your angels speak to you that's your intuition that's your higher self so you want to make sure that third eye is beautifully open and vibrant and again you control what you're comfortable with so if you need to close it up a little bit, because maybe your third eye is too open, then close it up a little bit. That's fine.
Take a deep breath in. Continue letting that energy rise all the way, your tension rise all the way. And it's traveling up your spine. That's where the Kundalini energy rises all the way to your crown. The crown is the top of your head. Soft spot in babies, when babies are born, you have the soft spot, that's the crown chakra. It doesn't close for at least 18 months to two years. Our crown, visualize a beautiful purple or violet disc of light spinning vibrantly. Now that your chakras are balanced, you're going to allow your attention, your energy to leave your body and go straight up immediately to creator, God, Allah, whatever name you choose to you know, call your higher power by. Or maybe it's just you don't believe in a higher power. Maybe it's universal energy that you believe in. It doesn't matter. It's all the same thing. And as soon as you reach it, because again, you control how fast you go. So there, you're there now. I want you to allow that beautiful, healing, iridescent white light to come pouring down back into the top of your head and let it fill you up completely as if you're filling a jug of water. It's going to start to fill in your toes, your feet, up to your knees. Continue to fill yourself up to your waist. Let your chest get filled up with this beautiful white energy. Up to your neck, all the way up to the top of your head. You're completely filled with this beautiful, vibrant, white healing energy. And now I want you to just allow that energy, since you're full, it's going to spill outwards. Allow it to form a big bubble of white light, or big or small, whatever you're comfortable with, with you sitting in the middle of this beautiful ball of white light. And I want you to now bring your attention into the center of your heart as you're sitting in this beautiful ball of white light. And I want you to notice that as you're sitting with your mind's eye, I want you to look on top of your bubble outside. And I want you to notice that there's a little angel flying there. And make it up. It doesn't matter. Imagine it. Imagine there's a little angel flying. And now I want you to invite that angel. This is your guardian angel. Invite your guardian angel to come into your bubble. Notice how much love, unconditional love your guardian angel has for you. And I want you to now listen as your guardian angel has a very special message to deliver to you. And I want you to listen and hear the entire message. And again, if you feel like you're making it up, you're doing it perfectly. You're not always gonna hear with your ears. You're gonna hear with your thoughts. You're gonna hear with your heart. So listen to the message in its entirety. And once the message is heard, thank your guardian angel. And as he or she flies back above your bubble, 
Go ahead and allow yourself to sit in the middle of your bubble and notice that she or he is now sprinkling what looks like glitter. It's either silver or gold or both. Till your entire bubble is completely covered with this beautiful glitter that your guardian angel is sprinkling. Adding yet another layer of protection for you. Just allow yourself to settle in. And enjoy the sense of peace. Take a deep breath in and exhale. And again, another deep breath in. And I want you to slowly start coming back to your body. And go ahead and open your eyes when you're ready. And join me in the present now. So you guys can go ahead and turn your videos back on if you want and quickly do a check-in and then we'll go ahead and stop.